India's second wave just keeps on getting worse. Oxygen still in short supply. The hospitals around the country are overwhelmed. The numbers of dead are rising. And now they run out of vaccines. They queued in their hundreds to try to get inoculated. This was Ghaziabad and Uttar Pradesh. But many states simply said they just didn't have enough and suspended the program. This was a rare sight in the Indian capital, a vaccination center with some stock to the relief of those who had booked. <laughs> you feeling excited? <laughs> Tell me how, why? Uh, because, uh, like, we've already, me and my family have already had COVID. So now I think this is, will be a good thing so that we don't get infected again. This was meant to be the big rollout, vaccinations for all 18 years and older. But like so much to do with India's coronavirus crisis, the government seems to have got it wrong and didn't appreciate its huge domestic demand. Fewer than 2% of India's population have been fully inoculated, whilst nearly 70 million doses have been sent overseas since January. That would easily have been enough to inoculate the whole of Delhi, Mumbai and Calcutta. And it's not just vaccines the country's short of. It's all medicines used to treat the virus. Do you have any remdesivir no, no, no. for coronavirus? Do you have any of the no. medicines? Have no, you no. got remdesivir? No, not available. Not available. Not available. All no out of stock. Chemistry. Oh. Okay. There's no availability on any retail shop. Because they're out of stock? They, because of out of stock, because of low production, because of their more, many more circumstances where come. The Indian Prime Minister was praying at a Sikh temple days after his government had ordered the mass vaccination as well as reassured the nation that the acute shortage of oxygen was being sorted. But a few miles away from the temple we saw evidence to the contrary. The queues are getting longer, the backlogs getting bigger and the crisis shows no sign of letting up. Delhi High Court judges have now stepped in ordering the government to ensure the capital gets adequate oxygen, as yet more hospitals said they'd run out and patients had died. When the cases started rising up, I thought government had a plan. Uh, but turns out they didn't. Within the first week, I understood that the governments have no idea. They're not prepared for anything. They, we don't have enough ventilators in one hospital. Forget about all the whatever we need for the entire city or the entire nation. India is very much in the eye of the COVID tornado and little is happening to stop it rampaging through the country at a dizzying speed. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Delhi.